Hey guys, gonna do something a little different today. We have a Vox coily cable in blue, and we have a bullet coily cable in cool seafoam green. So we're gonna see if we can hear any difference in these guys. Just, you know, kind of right off the bat here, what we got is the coils on the bullet cable are a lot bigger than the coils on the Vox that you can see here. This one's a lot looser as well. This one's got a little bit more tension on it, and they're both supposed to stretch to about 30 feet. And I, I definitely believe that the, uh, the bullet cable here definitely go to 30 feet. The Vox be a little tight if you tried to stretch it, I think, out to 30 feet. So let's see what these things sound like. Alrighty, we got our trusty 1965 Telecaster of Destiny here. We're plugged into a Twist Terra 18 amplificational system. It's got a Vintage 30 speaker in it. It's 18 watts, kind of like a Fender Deluxe Reverb. All the knobs are straight up and down. We have the Vox Blue Coily Cable. We have a Full Drive 2 for our dirty sound. And it sounds like this. Kick on the full drive. Now we've got our seafoam green bullet coil cable and it sounds like this. Kick on some overdrive. Now, back to the Vox. Back to the bullet cable. And just for S's and G's, we have a 1976 Les Paul Standard, the Bullet Seafoam Green Coil Cable, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Now we've got the Vox Blue Coil Cable with the Les Paul.
right, so both of these cables, I would say that the box has a little bit of a darker, dirtier sound compared to the bullet cable. This one is a little bit brighter, I think a little bit clearer sounding, but they both sound pretty good. They both feel pretty good when you're playing them too. One of the big differences is the, the price. So this is about $35 while the bullet cable runs about $50. Again, we already mentioned that the coils are a lot bigger, so this one probably is a little bit longer, has a little bit more of a stretch. This is a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter of a coil. But they both sound great. They both look cool. The real test is gonna be how long do they hold up. So probably in about a year or so, we're gonna come back and say, hey, you know, which one of these has it lasted? So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. Tell us below in the comments what cables you like to use and we'll check them out. So we'll see you next time.